As we know, country star Morgan Wallen was arrested the other night in downtown Nashville on Broadway after he allegedly threw a chair from the rooftop balcony area of Eric Church's brand new bar, Chiefs. According to MNPD, the chair came from six stories above and then landed in a close proximity to two MNPD officers who were standing just below uh, the rooftop area of the bar. Ultimately, Morgan Wallen was charged with three felony counts of reckless endangerment, as well as one count of disorderly conduct. Morgan Wallen was subsequently released from custody on bond. His bond was set at $15,250. And since Morgan Wallen's surprising arrest, there has been quite a bit of reaction from around the country music community, including fans, including fellow country artists who we know to be really good friends with Morgan Wallen. We're gonna get to those reactions here in just a minute, but we are also going to share a new statement with you guys today, which was made by Morgan Wallen's ex fiance KT Smith, who is also the mother of Morgan Wallen's uh, three-year-old son, Indigo. This new statement from KT Smith is particularly interesting. She gave this comment to the Daily Beast in a new interview. After rumors surfaced online, people were speculating that Morgan Wallen may have thrown the chair from the top of Eric Church's bar as he was in some sort of struggle with maybe dealing with the fact that KT Smith had just married her new husband and that the timeline of KT Smith's new love life sort of matched up with the timing of when this incident took place in downtown Nashville. And lastly, we're gonna share what Eric Church's bar had to say about this, and they went about it in a very unconventional way, you could say, and uh, it's now on the front of the building, their new message surrounding this incident and arrest of Morgan Wallen. We're gonna get to all of this right now. First, we're gonna get to the reactions that we talked about. Here are those reactions. Now, the first one that we're gonna share with you guys comes from Morgan Wallen's very good friend, very close friend, Ernest. He shared this reel shortly following Morgan's arrest going public. He writes on the reel, when Morgan asked me if I want to go to Broadway, and then he captions it off with Alexa, play the chair by George Strait. And the second one that we have for you comes courtesy of one half of Brooks and Dunn, Mr. Ronnie Dunn himself. His post was a little bit more creative in the sense that he was able to tie in the solar eclipse as well as Morgan Wallen's arrest all into one. See if you can spot where he refers to Morgan Wallen's arrest in this video. Let's take a look. So this is the new moon solar eclipse and it says that we're no longer tolerating harmful dynamics. They'll be eclipsed out of our lives. Despite its intensity, the energy is gonna bring outcomes far beyond our imagination and the impact will be felt deeply for the next two weeks and shape our lives for months to come. Trust the process and remain hydrated and grounded. Hmm. It's gonna be a wild and rocky ride. Anything can happen. And now we're gonna move into the speculation and the rumors surrounding maybe the idea as to why Morgan Wallen threw this chair from Eric Church's rooftop, which has been speculated that it was over KT Smith being married, the timeline of her love life sort of matching up to when this incident took place. Again, as we know, Morgan Wallen was previously engaged to KT Smith back around the year of 2016. They had an on and off again relationship up until around 2019. The two, of course, do share a son together, Indigo, who is three years old. This speculation and rumor seemingly was picked up by the Daily Mail from a source who talked to the publication. As you can see here up on your screen in the article in which was released uh, about this speculation as to why maybe Morgan Wallen had this incident occur. It says, sources told DailyMail.com KT's marriage to Luke last week just crushed him. The source added, of course he knew they were engaged and eventually going to get married, but eloping just days after they got engaged, Morgan has never gotten over her even though he couldn't stay faithful to her, and now another man is going to be raising his son. Whatever happened at that bar had to be reality hitting him in the face over losing the love of his life. And just real quick before we get to what KT Smith had to say about those rumors and speculation from the source who spoke to the Daily Mail. Here is her Instagram, and at just one week ago, you can see she is being proposed to 
by her new husband, Luke, here in this photo. Another photo within that same post has Luke and KT together with Indigo clearly there in the picture at where this proposal is happening. And then just five days ago, KT Smith shared this picture that you see here with her new husband, Luke, and their marriage certificate. In this post, she says, swipe for a surprise at the end. There's several photos of her and Luke as well as Indigo. And then of course, this last photo is of them sharing the marriage certificate and the two announcing that they are officially married. Of course, when you get to the level in which Morgan Wallen is in his career, you can expect there to be rumors and speculation behind anything that it is that you do, especially maybe in these set of circumstances. But KT Smith has now spoke to the Daily Beast and she's debunking what the source had to say to Daily Mail in that interview. We have not yet heard any word from Morgan Wallen. I don't imagine uh, that we will due to this being a, a criminal matter and him already having his attorney on retainer. But as far as KT Smith is concerned, this is simply not something that she believes played a role into Morgan Wallen's uh, decision to do what it is he allegedly did or, or into his arrest. Here's what she had to tell the Daily Beast. When asked, she said, although it may seem like it correlates because of the timeline, I have no evidence to believe the incident had anything to do with the recent marriage announcement. I cannot speak on Morgan's behalf, but I do pray the very best for him, praying that this was just a slip up and that he will return to the good path that he was on prior. Morgan Wallen and Smith seem to have a really good relationship, good working relationship, especially when it comes to parenting. We've seen Morgan Wallen with Indigo on several occasions and he always looks very happy to be with his son. It always looks as if the two are having a wonderful time together. So it would seem as though KT Smith is able to speak on this to some degree, as I am sure that they do spend time speaking to one another and of course want the best for Indigo. And as you heard there from KT Smith in her interview with the Daily Beast, she does not believe that her marriage has anything to do with Morgan Wallen's incident. Even if there are folks who wanna speculate over that idea because of the timeline of her love life. And before we go here today, we wanna to share one more thing with you guys. It comes from Eric Church's bar. They are sending out a message following Morgan Wallen's arrest. Like I mentioned earlier, in a little unconventional way, because they're not doing it through statement or they're not doing it through a video message or what have you. They're simply putting up a message on the marquee of the front of the building. And as you can see here from Peyton Muse's post, she is a Fox reporter out in Nashville. Their sign simply now reads, our pigs fly, our chairs don't. I know there's been a lot of talk about what maybe the bar thought or what Eric Church thinks about this, but not speaking on behalf of anyone, just, just looking at this, it does seem as though the bar may be making some humor out of what took place that night. That's your latest update here from Country Cast. Again, Morgan Wallen has not spoken out publicly about this. Again, I would imagine he would not until this is completely finished, especially through the court process. But as developments come in on this, we will continue to keep you updated. Be sure to subscribe down below so you never miss out on any breaking news and updates.